What did we do wrong? I read the wrong one. <laughs> I have to tell it. I have to get. Yeah. You got to go back to school? Yep. <laughs> Welcome back to the channel guys. My name is Daniel and you're watching Triple R Farms. It is Thursday, April 28th and uh, here's what we got on tap for today. That's Phillips tractor right there. We're going to take his planter. We're going to change it over to soybeans. Uh, you'll see what all that involves here in just a second. And then uh, once we get that done, we're all convoying uh, to Gray Rocks. Dad will be down there replanting corn in some wet spots. And then Philip will be going on to Otagaville, which is another probably 20, 20 minute drive uh, up the road. Then uh, I'll be over at Gray Rocks finishing up, um, spraying Roundup on the corn where we had the uh, Roundup failure. I've got a couple of fields that I didn't spray. So that's what I'll be doing. And then when dad gets through replanting corn there, I don't know if he'll have time, but eventually he's gonna get to Otagaville with Phillip and uh, we may have two planters uh, planting soybeans later on this afternoon. So that's what we got going on right now. It's gonna be a busy day. It's gonna be a beautiful day. So I hope y'all enjoy the video and uh, let's get it started. First thing we gotta do is we gotta find the uh, soybean seed plates that is not them that's cotton soybeans let's take the whole box All right, so here's what we got. You have to take this cover off right here. And this is your actual seed plate right here. This is for corn. We'll be taking this out. So we'll take the corn plate out, put it over here. We inspect this seal right here all the way around, make sure it doesn't have a crack or it's folded real weird. This one looks good to go. Uh, you gotta move this little, little knockout that stays with the corn they're all color coded for uh, each crop so we'll put soybean plate in these little notches right here is the vacuum on this is what the seed sticks to as it goes around we'll drop that right in there put the uh, clip back on it Got our little ejector, knockout, whatever you want to call it. Oh gosh. That was supposed to go on. Just like this. You put the seed plate on, put the clip on, now that part's good to go. Next is the singulator right here. We're gonna take this baby out. Got a little clip on the back side. There you go. Singulator, corn, don't need it. Soybean singulator right here. It just pops in there. You gotta get this brush out. Bean brush okay, just like that. Put this back on. Good to go. And then I put everything back in the bag. So, when we go to do corn next year, we'll have it all in 
one bag. That's it. Now we gotta do 11 more. I swear I didn't walk back in. Want me to go get it this time? Uh, missing some scrapers we gotta put on. Easy, buddy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yep, this one on this side coming up too. Um, yeah. I don't know if I can get that in here. Got one right there that's not in good. Jane got one over there that's is it bent or just came off? Came off. Yeah, that one bent. That one bent, yeah. All right, let me go grab some. I hope we got some scrapers. Gonna find out. Uh, you don't have the spring at all? No, I've been robbing, robbing, robbing. They're all right here. Watch it now. I'm alright. You're gonna fall. Get a few where you see. Scrape it. Scrape it. We've been robbed too many times. Well, the good news is we got plenty of the arms. That's an arm. There's a right and left. Got plenty of those. Got plenty of these little blades. These are the actual scrapers. But the one thing we are missing is the actual little spring that uh, joins the two together. And it's a very important part to a scraper. So, not sure what he's going to do. But we'll deliver these to him. That one just needs a factory adjustment. And there's your arms, and there's two sets of scrapers. No spring. No spring. All right, Dad is ready to load the seed tender with soybeans. I gotta figure out what variety going out.
out first. Yeah, local seed 45, 45, 65, and 47.95. So the fours in local is going to is going to be planted in a Togville first. This is this is one. Looks good. This one. The one right here. Got it, James. Where's the next one? Right in front of it. You gotta go up. <laughs> See if our two buddies are back. Golly. And you learned your lesson. Guess we'll call this the uh the raccoon board. All right, guys, we are about to get on the road. There goes Philip. Dad's tractor is right up there. And then I am getting on the road with my rogator right now. James is right there with the chemical. He's headed out. We are all headed to Gray Rock. So, uh, Let's get this thing going. Whew. We have finally made it. What a drive. Gray Rocks, we are here. So here's what we're gonna be putting out. We're gonna be putting out the Power Max 3. Um, you can go 24 ounces, but I just wanna make sure I get a good kill. So we're gonna go with a quart to the acre of that. And the only other thing we're putting in there is uh, this wet saw from Schaefer's. That's my uh, surfactant that I'm putting in. And uh, then we're just going with straight water. And uh, hopefully we'll get a good kill on this. What you got? Got two leaks. Huh? <laughs> got two leaks at the same time. I don't know why hole in the hose or like a no it's an o-ring <laughs> this big nut right here got an o-ring behind it so it's leaking and then this big nut here has got a big o-ring philip gets here i've got them in my truck mm -hmm. well let's see james i believe just take the tractor home now, he told you see, if it acted up so get off the road right. you know. okay hadn't thrown any code yet 
No, but that's it. That's it. Okay. Got plenty of fuel. Yes, sir. All right. Well, you make it home. You got an O-ring that's leaking behind this big nut right here, and he, and maybe that one right there, or maybe that one. I'm not sure. I wouldn't see. I couldn't see where he was pointing, but he's got two pretty big oil leaks right here, as you can see. His squirting. It's got all this covered in hydraulic oil. Mm. That's the 8285 guys. That is the one that was struck by lightning. Andy from John Deere got her going. He got one issue with the three point hitch that's still not working right, but as of right now, she is back running. So we're gonna run it and do some tillage work and uh, see what happens. Hopefully keep our fingers crossed that uh, we don't have any more electrical issues. guys this is what we got and i know it looks absolutely horrible if the roundup would have worked the first time we wouldn't have a problem but as you can see the ryegrass is just coming on like crazy it is soaking up all that fertilizer that i put out for the corn so everything out here is just not doing the corn any good but there is corn down in there it pretty much looks like this everywhere but um where there's some spots some low areas where water can stand after that huge four inch rain it just had drowned it out a lot of this corn some of it's coming up it's just coming up later so um anyway the whole field is just kind of up and down but but the corn that is up and didn't get drowned it out looks really good if you can find it down in these weeds So anyway, I know it looks horrible, but when we come back in two weeks, it's gonna look a lot different. This is the last field I gotta do. So um, I got my drone with me, it's the last field. Let's throw that baby up in the air. I know the corn is gonna look terrible in this footage, but um, hopefully we'll get some cool shots of the rogator spraying. And uh, we might even find dad if he got back going he's going to be across those woods over there we'll see if we can catch him if he's out in the field so um anyway let's see what footage we can get let's get that baby up in the air we are out of time for this video um, I'm gonna keep spraying and finishing this field 
and uh, dad hopefully is getting going replanting over there I did not see him when I had the drone in there uh, but hopefully he'll get going pretty soon anyway guys thanks for hanging in there with us all week I uh, hope you enjoyed the videos um, keep the comments coming and uh, we will catch y'all next week so uh, that is it for this one see you on the next one guys we're out <laughs>